Alright guys, I have something to tell you guys. I am a si If you guys follow me on Instagram, you can see a more personal side of myself and that's where you will see my girlfriend. And obviously, because you see the amount of keyboards that I own, I obviously talk about keyboards like 90% of my life. So she knows all about keyboards as well and decided that she wanted to build her own keyboard as well. So I decided to film the whole process of her building her first custom keyboard. So here we go. So to introduce my girlfriend, my girlfriend's name is... <laughs> and the other person I have to introduce to you guys is... Skillshare! Skillshare! So our next question is, where do you learn how to edit your videos? I actually studied visual effects when I was schooling. So over the three years, I basically learned how to do basic video editing and other video editing stuff. So... Yeah, three years I basically learned how to do basic video editing and other video editing stuff. Fire! Do you want to make YouTube videos? Do you want to learn how to edit, how to film videos, how to like your videos properly? Then Skillshare is just for you. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives. Creatives, so YouTubers like us or you who would want to be a future YouTuber. It is where millions go together to take their next step in their creative journey. Skillshare is for everyone. Skillshare is for pros, beginners, dabblers, dabbers. Aside from video editing, there are many other classes that you can pick up. You can pick up studio lighting for videography, DSLR filming, learning the basics of a camera. And even for those without DSLR, there's iPhone videography. You can learn how to shoot and edit better with your iPhone. For me, the class I took was called YouTube Success by freaking Marcus Brownlee. Marcus Brownlee, alright? The best part for me was that I learned how to write a script, like how I write a script for this. Skillshare is created specifically just for learning. There are no ads, they are always launching new classes, so there's always something for you to learn. So if you guys are interested, the first 1,000 of you who clicks the link in the description down below will get a free one month to explore your creativity. Alright, we're done. So let's get back to the video. Wow. For the parts, I was the one who actually chose the parts for her except for the switches and keycaps. I gave her a bunch of switches to choose from and she chose the certain switch that she wanted. And as for the keycaps, she knew what she wanted so I just went with something that would go along with her choices. Alright, so for the keys, she decided that she wanted something white. And I couldn't decide between to get her a plastic case or a metal case but I decided since it's her first one, you should just get an aluminium case and what better case to get than the... Tofu Sexy! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got this... What's that? I forgot what's that. Some screws, screw in. And we have the case. Are you ready? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> So this is the Tofu 60 by KBD Fans. It is one of the most popular 60% cases among the keyboard community due to its price and quality. It offers many color choices and the material feels amazing. Overall, the case looks extremely slick and clean. I bought the Tofu 60 which consists of the case, plate and PCB which brings us to our plate. I decided to go with a polycarbonate plate because it would give a better pop and sock which is the sound signature that Ned wants. And then we have as for the PCB, this is the DZ60 RGB V2 with the NC layout. It has self-facing switches, is hot swappable, and supports USB Type-C connection. So moving on. Moving on. To. To. Kicket. No. That's the last. <laughs> Alpaca linear switch. These are the switches she chose. They have a 62 gram actuation force with a palm stem, polycarbonate top, and nylon bottom housing. Really nice colors as well. I haven't taught her how to loop switches before, but we'll just see how it goes. I won't, I won't be giving any instructions whatsoever. You know, okay. Keycap puller. Open it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my. What the hell? Wait, the spring! Oh, it's here! This is all from your video. Do you roughly know how to look at this? Roughly. No guarantee, so. This! Alright, we'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back after she's done opening the switches. Did you manage to open out all the switches? Yes, barely. Okay, and then. 205. High top. Great zero. And then I start this. No. This. How oh, then must I do the outside? Uh. 
I don't think so. Okay, got it. God. Ah! No, 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 no. One drop. Wait. Okay, okay. What? You guys, you didn't know she's making a TikTok right now. On. It will be linked down below. <laughs> I will be making a TikTok too. Funny if my TikTok does better than yours. <laughs> Correct, wah. Got the two thing, then the two thing here, wah. Then you wanna try flipping that around. <laughs> like that? The step. Yeah. This one? Yes. Oh, I wrong, ah. Oh, like alright, that. Alright, alright. Let's try closing it now. Damn! <laughs> Alright, she's done looping 5 switches Because I knew this was gonna happen I got some advice from Hippio He did the same thing So I looped the other 60 switches for her So yeah Okay, so what do you think is the next step? Uh, unbox my keycap No, we're gonna do a basic keyboard mod Called the foam mod So I'll be giving her foam and scissors And she's gonna figure the foam mod out herself So it seems like the foam mod is actually really easy for any beginner to do. We're gonna move on to our stabilizers. I'm using Duroc V2 screen stabilizers. They're one of the best out there. I would definitely recommend them. I'll let her like figure it out for one minute and then maybe I'll just teach her how to remove the wire. Because it's from here. Yeah. So I can push up and then... Then how do you know when to... Just use strength. Oh! oh there we go. Pull it out. Okay. Nice. Okay, okay. You're gonna loop it. Wait. All the other stabilizers I've done up for her, I already wholly modded. But I'm pretty sure a normal beginner wouldn't want to learn holy mod on their first try. So I'm gonna do the holy mod and then let her proceed to loop the stabilizer. I don't know if you guys can see, but the holy mod is done right now. So we're just gonna let her loop the stabilizer. Beginner tip: Don't start with the wire. <laughs> Whoa! Just press down. There oh. we go. Nice. Officially done with looping your keyboard. Say no to looping. Something to recommend to all beginners out there in this keyboard hobby. Remember to test out your stabilizers before finalizing your keyboard. All you have to do is replicate what she's doing and listen out for any rattle or any ticking and then you can just tune your stabilizers according to what you hear. Afterwards, I got her to do the temper state mod which she said was the easiest mod to do and we will be adding plate foam as well to our case. At this point, we're nearly done so all she had to do was assemble the remaining parts together on this keyboard so let's just enjoy it with some relaxing music. So what are we gonna do now? Kike! She really wanted GMK Olivia's but I wouldn't be spending 300 US dollars on a GMK kit right now so this is a knockoff GMK Olivia's.
Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more of that on my channel where we build keyboards or something, like, I don't know. If you guys enjoy keyboard content, you can subscribe to my channel. And if you guys like this video, you can go ahead and click the like button. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Comment what you think about the keyboard down below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.